I have issued a proclamation terminating the period of hostilities of World War II as of 12 o'clock noon, December 31st, 1946. Under the law, a number of war and emergency statutes cease to be effective upon the issuance of this proclamation. It is my belief that the time has come when such a declaration can properly be made and that it is in the public interest to make it. The proclamation terminates government powers under some 20 statutes immediately upon its issuance. It terminates government powers under some 33 others at a later date, generally at the end of six months from the date of the proclamation. This follows as a result of provisions made by the Congress when the legislation was originally passed. With respect to the termination of the national emergency and the state of war, I shall make recommendations to the Congress in the near future. This is Movie Town, Jeffrey Sumner reporting. This was the scene of turmoil in the capital, Havana, as the climax of revolution was reached. Anyone suspected of sympathy for the Batista regime came in for a rough time. The mob was certainly out of hand, one of its aims apparently being to get all the furniture out of the casino and burn it. Such was the scene just before Castro's advance guard approached. They had marched right across the island in a triumphant progress, joyfully acclaimed all the way. At last, Dr. Fidel Castro himself arrived. Time and again he was held up by the crowds. He spoke to them of the new regime now being inaugurated, a regime, by the way, now formally recognized by Britain. 